みなさんおはようございます。Good morning, everybody. My name is Sebastian Duval. I'm a member of the Get Japan team and I've been in Japan for 11 years. Today, I will tell you how I learned the Japanese language, what was successful and what was not. First, for those of you who don't know me, I use Japanese every day at work and during my free time. I take phone calls from Japanese customers and hotel staff. I sell advertisements to managers of shops and restaurants in Tokyo. I give advice to exporters and tourism professionals. I chat online or face to face with my Japanese friends and I do many, many other things. But when I moved to Japan, I didn't speak any Japanese. Nothing. I didn't,、uh, I couldn't read the signs in the street or at the entrance of buildings. I couldn't read the Japanese menus in the restaurants or the small labels in the shops. And that's a bit annoying, but I couldn't read、uh, what was written on the small buttons everywhere in the Japanese high tech toilets or on the small panels you have at home for the air conditioning. It was very annoying. But now I'm fine. To learn the Japanese language, my first step was to fly to Japan and to move to Tokyo. Uh, hearing and seeing Japanese stuff all around me all the time was extremely helpful. It helped me quickly learn the most important words and characters for everyday life and helped me remember everything I learned. My second step was to memorize the two Japanese alphabets. You have the hiragana and katakana, which are completely different. And to learn them, I wrote each letter again and again and again and again and again and again for a few days. Then I use them to write most words and sentences I learned. My third step was to make language exchanges with Japanese friends who spoke English well.、Um, at the beginning, we discussed only in English, but I asked the translation of the words we used very often, and I used them every time I could afterwards. So my sentences ended up having lots of English, and less and less English, and more and more Japanese. Uh, of course, I wrote these words and studied them in the subway or elsewhere when I had time. My fourth step was to attend Japanese classes organized for free by my university, approximately five hours per week. Unfortunately, the pace was too slow to support my life in Tokyo, and the teachers couldn't clarify much things because they spoke only in Japanese.、Uh, you couldn't ask a question in English, in French, or in Chinese, whatever country you were from. I started to study the books on my own at coffee shops, checking the rules and usages with my bilingual friends, and I completely stopped attending the classes after only three months of study. My fifth step was to read Japanese comic books, what you probably know as manga. Surprisingly, the books for young children were too difficult for me、uh, because they included words I had never heard. And I couldn't find in the dictionaries. I talked with Japanese people and they said just give up. So instead, I quickly switched to the books for older children that use normal speech, mainly, and、uh, that are written in furigana. So, furigana basically means you have all the complicated kanji, the Chinese characters that have been put into Japanese language. And、uh, to give you an idea, you need to know 2,000 of these ones to read the newspaper. And furigana also means you have the kanji, and on the sides you have the small hiragana and katakana letters that indicate the pronunciation. So it's very useful because you can easily find the words in the dictionary afterwards. That was really great to learn words and、um, to become able to read things everywhere in the street, in the hotels, and at home. Besides all this, I traveled a lot on, in Japan. I went from、uh, Hokkaido to Okinawa, and that was thanks to a scholarship from my country, and I really recommend that to you.、Um, that helped me because it kept me stimulated all the time. It helped me also a lot because I had to use the Japanese in many different ways, and I discovered the Japanese culture, I discovered many regional foods, and many other things. So, do the same if you have the opportunity. Besides that, I tried many other methods and,、uh, that didn't work so well. So, for example, just two of them reading the Japanese newspapers on the internet、uh, with an online dictionary and chatting in Japanese online. So, the Japanese newspapers, the problem is、uh, the 
style in the seams don't really match what you use in everyday life, so that was not uh, something easy to remember. And chatting online didn't work so well because the grammar is often incorrect, the sentence is incomplete, so you end up learning incorrect things. Uh, I don't really recommend that at the beginning at least when you're a beginner. Anyway, using all these methods, uh, I managed to have simple discussions in Japanese, read and write many things, and avoid many cultural mistakes blah, 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 after only one year in Tokyo. And after the second year, I was completely comfortable with my life here. Learning Japanese requires time and motivation, but it's relatively easy and it opens you a wonderful world. Don't give up if you're learning now. Combatene!